This is goodbye to our house. Going off the beaten path. That's what this adventure thing is all about, right? She got stung by a stingray. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Hey everybody, welcome to Love Always. Adventure often. Adventure often. Today's signing day for us. We signed the papers to close on our house today and uh, we'll have two days to get out. So we have to be out by Friday. But then we get to leave for? Nana and Papa's house. <laughs> Nana Papa's house and We're California. California. Woohoo! We are on our way to sign to close on the house which is exciting. We uh, are signing the documents today. We got some news this morning, oh, a little bit earlier today, that it may affect the cell. Um, there's an issue with the boundaries. A little bit of road rage there too. But there's an issue with the boundaries of the house for some reason. I, I guess a while ago, or the first owner that owned the house bought a strip of land on the east side of our house it's like three feet of land so that he could have enough room to park his camper. And we knew this when we bought the house, they talked about it, but it wasn't a big deal when we bought it. And now they're saying it's possibly a big deal, that it wasn't recorded right, and it could prevent us from closing on the sale. So we're signing our papers anyway, and then the, sell, the buyer is working on stuff from their end to see if they want to sign the papers with a possible title glitch, so. We'll see what happens. I was expecting this day to be a lot more exciting <laughs> and a lot more finalizing, but basically right now we don't know. We don't know if it's sold. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And we got rid of everything. And we've <laughs> sold everything and we've packed everything. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it would change the fact that we would leave well, the house, right? right. We would st maybe it wouldn't be right now. Yeah. Um, we would As probably rent it after the new year or something. Or, or sell it after the new year, but this, these buyers came up so quick. I don't know, it's interesting. So this is not exactly how we expected it to go, but when is it ever the way you, you expect it to go, right? Well, this is goodbye to our house. It's all emptied. A few more things we had to get out of here. Nobody wants to buy that couch. That's crazy. That's crazy. We're moving into Katie's parents' house. I'm gonna do a tour down there a little bit later. We'll show you what tiny, tiny space we're living with and what it looks like right now. This is kind of our last little walkthrough. We're waiting for the cleaners to get here. We gotta get these last couple things out of here. We've had so many good memories in here. And for two of our kids, for Kenya and Milo, this is, this is the only house they really know. And so, Kenya kind of broke down last night and cried, and that set Katie off, and she cried. She's gonna cry again <laughs> as I talk about it, but it's a good step. We, uh, it was a close call. We almost, the sale almost didn't go through. There was actually an issue with the property lines, um, and uh, the sellers wanted to make sure they got that taken care of before the sale went through, and that was gonna take a long time. So, glad it went through. We signed our papers, and uh, they signed theirs, they said they're wiring the money, and the house is no longer ours. Goodbye, beautiful house. So apparently the last things that we waited to haul off were garbage. So we got hay from our Halloween decorations, cardboard boxes, trampoline frames, uh, you know, you name it, it's in our it's in our garbage bin. It's in our garbage van. <laughs> Katie's gonna take this off to the dump. So when I got to the storage unit today, kayak was on top of the door on the inside, jamming it shut. I couldn't get it open and I was here with my little Milo. So we had to work together, pry it open and hold it open with the lid of our got. Now I'm gonna try to hoist it up. Hey, what's happening everybody? We're here in our new place. The house actually sold. Uh, we're signed and uh, everything is done. I wanted to give you a quick tour of our new space. If I were to guess, I think it's about 500 square feet, four, four to 500 square feet. So right now it looks like we're hoarders. <laughs> so I'll show you, I'll give you a little tour. First, this is the hallway right here. We have stuff everywhere. 
and we come downstairs. So this is Katie's parents' basement, and they were so kind to house us for a couple months while we get ready to go. So anyway, this is our main living area. Don't worry, we just moved last night, so all of this stuff will find a place. We would never, <laughs> never be able to live like this, but man, right now we're feeling a little overwhelmed with all this stuff. We probably didn't get rid of enough stuff. We have a couple mannequins. They wanted to do the mannequin challenge. Ooh, look at that mannequin. Oh, what's happening here? Look at these mannequins. <laughs> One's proposing to the other, that's amazing. Here's our kitchen. Katie spent hours and hours last night getting this all organized. It's almost, almost all organized. It's a lot better than it was, right, hun? Mm -hmm. Hey, what are we doing today, guys? We are going to California. Ooh. Going to California. <laughs> Charlie's gonna stay with Grandma. Nana is what we call her. All right, so this is our kitchen. This will be our dining room table. And this is the only daylight that comes into this place. So that'll be fun. This is our massive hallway slash closet. Here's our bathroom. Here is the kids room. Mattresses on the floor. When we get back from California, we'll get all this organized and get it set up so it's functional. And then here's our room. Yes, we brought our king mattress. So basically this entire room is just a mattress. Welcome to our new space. We'll be here for probably three or four months. Yeah, I'm Charlie's face. Okay. I love you, daddy. <laughs> All right, here's the best part. Here's the best part of the basement is that it came with its own decor. So I'm gonna reveal, I'm gonna reveal this for you. Look at that. Look at that 90s babe. Woo wee. So, came with all the family pictures, and then here's the embarrassing part of the, of the basement. This kissing picture. Milo, are you happy to be here? With our wedding picture. Yeah. And I'm excited to Oh, where's our to wedding picture? Oh, yeah. Look at these kids. So, I'll give you a quick look at what our van looks like when we're going road tripping. So, I obviously have to take a bunch of equipment for work. So, this is all my film equipment here under here right now we have just a two bench installed that's Milo's seat with a single over here we have another two bench that can sit right where that case is and face that one back here this is a jackknife bed so we can actually lay that bench into a bed um, and I had this shelf built custom so we can put stuff on shelves bags and then we have uh, boogie boards and blankets and all kinds of soft stuff up there so nothing falls and hits people in the head so welcome to the back of our transit so like I said I had this shelf built in place for it and it bolts into where the other seats used to bolt into it's pretty slick super functional tons of space to to put all of our stuff for both adventuring and work here we go taking off on an adventure to California it's gonna take us about nine and a half hours to get there and then we've got some fun things planned I'm working on Tuesday so today's Saturday we'll drive today play Sunday play Monday I'll work Tuesday and we'll figure drive out Wednesday yeah then we'll figure out Wednesday we don't know we might never come back maybe we'll just live on the beach get our RV when we're there and take off okay Okay. Hey guys. We got three days to play in California. What are we gonna do? Go to the beach all day. What did you say? Yeah. Beach all day. Beach yeah. all day every day? Addison's a beach girl. I want you to teach me how to surf. I would have to know how to surf to be able to teach you how to surf. What do you want to do, hun? I want to do very little. Yeah. <laughs> Sit on the beach. Relax. Relax and eat lots of Cafe Rio. is internationally renowned Swiss artist Ugo Rondinons, or Nouns, Seven Magic Mountains, the large-scale site-specific public art installation. Those real rocks? Yeah. Did they just paint them? Yeah.
Hey, so we stumbled upon this cool place called the Seven Magic Mountains. And uh, Katie was reading a little bit about the artist and that kind of stuff, but it's right in the middle of the desert. Like we're just right in the middle of the desert, uh, just south of Las Vegas, before Prim. Glad we stopped. <laughs> These guys were complaining because we had to backtrack a little bit. We saw them from the freeway and we were like, oh, we got to go check those out. And they're like, we don't want to go. <laughs> That's what this adventure thing is all about, right? Changing plans if we want to change plans and finding new things, going off the beaten path. So these are awesome. So part of this whole exploring thing for me personally, and this adventure thing, this full-time adventure, is learning to let go of the plan and just go with what comes up. I'm really, I'm not good at it at all. I'm, I'm actually very terrible at impromptu or just spur of the moment decisions or, or deciding to go the long way or that kind of thing. So for me, one of my goals is definitely to do more of this that Katie's much better at. I love going the long way. <laughs> and off the beaten go, path. going off the beaten path, or if we see something that wasn't part of the plan, just just going with it and, and doing it and seeing what happens. And usually that's the time that we have the most fun or we see the coolest things when Katie can convince me to take some extra time and slow down. We don't have to get there right away, um, but just making sure that we're enjoying the moment finding things that we've never seen before. And uh, so that's a big goal for mine, is to be a lot better at doing those sort of things and really not, not worrying about getting there, but enjoying the journey. Hey, we just got to our hotel. Found a cool little hotel called The Boulevard, and it's in Costa Mesa, just right off the 55, and it's super cheap and really nice. So we're gonna go to the pool. Milo's not, because he's crying. Milo, are you gonna go to the pool? <laughs> nice, buddy. Mai, what were you doing? I was like this. <laughs> what dance is that? Hookie. The hookie? The haka? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see Kenya's haka. So we drove uh, nine and a half hours to get here. It's been a long day in the car, huh guys? Yes. We ready for adventure tomorrow? Yes. Tomorrow's one of our play days. I'm not working tomorrow. All right, so it's our first morning in SoCal. We're on Rumbalboa Peninsula, and we're about to go well watching. Hopefully we see a well. It's a well watching cruise, but if you don't see a well, then it's just a boat ride. We might see a dolphin though. We might see dolphins. information about this Katie found this deal on Groupon it was do you think it was last minute might have no. been like a I mean it was end, it was ending that day it's off season so the what's the company name Davies Locker Davies Locker out well of, watching out of Newport out of out of Newport uh, Harbor we paid 55 bucks for our whole family to come do this so five of us that was yep. that was even adult prices was, I didn't do the it was prices. worth it it was was it worth it, Addison? We've been out for almost two hours now, so we're heading back into the harbor, but this was this was well worth it. A last minute buy. Uh, we didn't have a plan for this morning, and so we, Katie jumped on, found it on Groupon. And this was cool. we didn't find any whales. We didn't see any whales. We did see a ton of dolphins. We saw sea lions and had a lot of fun. <laughs>
bites your head. Look at Kenji trying to dip it in ranch. <laughs> That's a big piece of pizza. So we're at the Corona Del Mar Beach. When we lived here in Southern California, this was our favorite beach to come to. The best part about this time of year, we basically have it to ourselves. There's nobody here. I mean, it's not insanely warm, but it's not freezing. There's stingrays everywhere. This is so cool. That was so crazy. A big old pool of stingrays just surrounded me. And they were swimming all over me. They were probably like, I don't know, like that big. They were awesome. I don't know if they can hurt me or not, but there's so many of them. There's one, there's one. There they are, look, they're in the seaweed. Oh my gosh. Can't tell. She got stung, she by, got a stung by a stingray. To ride in this lifeguard truck but she's in a lot of pain all wrapped up so as we were getting done at the beach yesterday yeah. addison had an incident what happened addison i got stung by a stingray got stung by a stingray my camera was dead yesterday and so i wasn't able to film any of it but what kind of pain were you in i can't even describe it she was asking if she was gonna live I was. <laughs> Screaming and crying and asking if she was going to live. It was super sad. We were getting done at the beach yesterday and Addison came running up to me bawling and crying and Stingray had stung her. She accidentally stepped on it. It was buried in the sand. She stepped on it and the entire barb went through her middle toe. So here's the thing. If you ever get stung with a Stingray, unless you're in real danger don't go to the emergency room here's what we were taught by the lifeguard who helped us out and luckily we found him but he took Addison's foot put it in hot water for about an hour then about hour and 20 minutes and the pain subsided we were able to get it wrapped up and she's in good shape now we're just lucky we found him we're glad we didn't go to the emergency room and get big bills for that kind of stuff he said people go to the emergency room all the time rack up these giant bills when all you really need to do is put your foot in really hot water, like almost to where you can't stand the heat. Love always adventure. Keep adventuring, even when you get stung by a stingray. So this is the first part of our California trip. Thanks for watching. Love always adventure often. Love always adventure often.